YouTube, what's poppin'? Streamers Playbook here, and I'm here to make your streams come true. Coming at you with another daily streaming tip. So today I'm gonna show you how to create polls on Twitch. Now polls are great for user engagement. They get people involved, they can be funny. It's good to help you decide what you wanna do on your stream. Polls are just awesome. Before I begin, I wanna let you know that polls can only be used by Twitch affiliates and Twitch partners, and that you can only have one poll on your stream going at a time. But other than that, they're super simple. I love using them in my chat. Let's go ahead and hop into this and I'll show you how to use them. And if you like that transition, own.tv, best overlays in the business, transitions, overlays, emotes, anything you need to help customize and improve your streams, they have it. I put a link in the description. So th there's two ways to make polls on Twitch. I'm gonna show you the, the two ways. I'm, this is the way I prefer. I prefer going through chat. So what you wanna do, this is the to me the quickest way. Yourself or one of your mods, go into chat and you just go slash poll click enter twice and here it comes up create a new poll right you would add your question your responses so for example i would type in here the question are dogs great and then you have your responses right so of course it'd be five yeses but i'm just going to show you two yes and yes right so now that you have that set up you can go down here and decide whether or not you want to allow additional votes for me personally if it's just like a silly poll like this there's no point for additional votes you could allow it but it's not really doing anything but if you're doing something serious, like, hey, what should we do next time on stream? What game should we do next? Things like that. I think that you should allow additional votes for some of your bigger supporters to have more of a say in your stream. Because if you just let anyone vote, so some rando could just come in and choose for you to play some random game next time, and maybe they're not even part of your community. So if you want people to have more of a say, allow those additional votes. You could adjust to how many bits you want these additional votes to cost or how many channel points you want them to cost. Now, once you do that, go down here to duration. And the streams, the polls can last one, two, three, five, or 10 minutes. If it's something like, hey, what should I do in game? You wanna go for a shorter poll, like a one minute, because you can't be sitting there this whole game waiting for this poll for 10 minutes. But if it's something like I said, what should I do next stream? Make it a little bit longer, like a 10 minute poll. But once you have it all set up here, go ahead and click start poll. Oh, and I'm gonna actually click off this and I'll just click start poll. And as you can see, the current poll is going. And you as a streamer can vote too. So I would click here, I would click, yes, of course, I love dogs, and you click vote. So now my vote is tallied. But let's say now that the vote's been running, you're like, hey, I'm done with this poll, I wanna jump into the next one. You could just go in your chat and type slash end poll, click enter twice. And as you can see, poll successfully ended. So that poll is no more, the poll's done. Now, if the poll, let's say your mod created like an inappropriate poll, something you think you get in trouble for, so you don't want it anymore, you would go into the chat and you would click slash delete poll and then as you can see poll successfully deleted you don't see it there anymore the difference between ending a poll and deleting a poll ending a poll is just like it's done like the results are still there but it's just no one could vote anymore it's just it's over deleting a poll like we'll get that poll out of your channel and again like i said you want to do that more if it got like inappropriate or something like that that's how you do that on the chat itself now let's say you want to do it through the your twitch channel i'll show you how to do that Okay, so I'm over here on my Twitch channel, and I'm gonna go up here to my profile icon, click it, and then I'm gonna go down to my creator dashboard, okay? Once I'm in there, go to your stream manager, and then you're gonna see on your right here these quick actions. You should have manage poll here. If you don't, go ahead and click this plus button right here, and then look for manage poll, and you would just click add it, or add, all right? And it'll add it to your quick actions. So once it's there, go ahead and click manage poll, and then you would just, it's gonna be just like the other one, new poll, type in your question, couple responses, and you would click start poll when you're good, all right? So for in this case, I just started it, but I'm just gonna end it. And then what I, what I wanna do now is show you how to view some of the results. So you click manage poll, you click view results, and this will give you like a kind of a breakdown of the poll that you just ran. So if you click vote breakdown, it'll show you like the bits contributed, channel points contributors, just a, a more detailed breakdown of the poll. And then if you wanna share it to your social medias, let's say it was something funny or you're trying to prove a point, you would just go ahead and share this link to your social media and it would share that poll uh, out there in the universe, all right? And that's how you create polls. I come out with the streaming tip every day, Monday through Friday. If you're interested in streaming, I promise I have something that could help you improve your streams. Go ahead and click the subscribe button to stay connected. If not, I appreciate you being here. Comment if you have any questions and like the video if it was helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.